From this video, we will know what's new in the new version of Tesla Scada 2, 32. The main feature we added in the new version of Tesla Scada 2, 32 is possibility to use Modbus RTA protocol. To add what new Modbus server, you have to right-click on the server pane and choose Modbus RTA. We don't do it because we preliminarily created our Modbus server. In our example, we will use USB to RF485 interface converter and use sensor humidity and temperature. Let's open several properties. The first you have to choose port ID. C click and we will show all USB serial IDs. You can choose this one or you can left the default and during exec execution of Tesla SCADA to runtime it will be found. Now let's enter our board rate. In our case it's 9600. Let's choose flower control now none and let's choose data bits 8 stop bits and parity like in modbus tcp server settings you have to choose request type you can choose maximum registers that lets you in one request uh, get information in maximum registers and choose point well and use or not function 6 when you write in write operations okay now let's set up let's check our text humidity use humidity sensor use author 2 in input register and humid temperature use offset 1 also both our text use scaling now let's check working of this settings by using Tesla SCADA runtime. You can see our humidity and temperature in our office. Now let's try to use our project on an Android device. To do this we use this OTG cable and connect it to converter and other and we connect to our Android device. In our case, it's Nexus. And our Tesla scatter automatically started and request permission to access USB port. The project is preliminarily uploaded to now device and let's start it. You see it works. Oh, we've tested this project on our Android TV box and it also works. Unfortunately our project doesn't work on iOS but you can use it in other OS like Android, Windows, Linux and Mac OS. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions, do not hesitate to ask it in our forum or by email.